What's up, y'all? I want to welcome y'all to the second episode of Men vs. Women podcast. And we got some important stuff to talk about today. Um, I am your host. This is my co-host. Hi. And she posted a video on TikTok TikTok Mm -hmm. that went viral. It got three, four hundred thousand views on it. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people in the comment section was talking about all kind of crazy stuff. And she want to answer some, you know, just kind of touch on some stuff because a lot of people didn't know the context of what was going on. Mm -hmm. They was asking, where you been? What's this? What's that? What's this? What's that? So do you want to respond to some of these people? Yes, we can. And, you know, they'll, um, I just think people weird. I think people weird. I think people weird. They, They reply and respond to stuff that, they don't have no context on. They don't understand what's going on. You're just getting a little bit of clip and you just assuming and running with the right, assumption. Right, right. Um, so, I guess the first question, everybody, what was you seeing? What was the most popular one you seen? That is guy- where he was, where was he? Why wasn't he in their life for six years? Uh, it's some kind of point we should play the video for y'all to see if y'all... We'll, we'll play the video it. clip. So, so where have he been? He's been incarcerated. He's okay. been incarcerated for uh, six years, so that's the reason why. Okay. Um, and we ain't gotta discuss nothing about what he done or yes, nothing like that's, that. That's his business. He's seen his kids and that yes. was actually I liked the video. And the reason had that he hasn't been able to actually physically see them is because we tried to do the paperwork, visitation paperwork, and things of that nature. I believe they may have gotten approved or something, but I didn't, of course, get approved. Um, and that's another story, and I'm not getting into that ass of why. Okay. So, what about the people that were saying, did they... Did, was it people saying that this was a fake video? It didn't seem real. Dude um, was I paying more attention I, to I, the key, to the daughter I than the son. What it was, it was the the negative that people found or saw in it is that they felt like it was. They felt like the kids. It was just a fake, or it was it was boring. It was did nobody fall out and nobody was hugging, crying, and all of that. But it was an actual natural reaction video um yeah because your daughter son, seemed a little bit yeah she, more you know she's more little, emotional she's, she's about more it more emotional well because she's older though she's older. Mean, so she probably have better my, memories of and him my son he's well they're actually irish twins so they both kind of have the same they're the same age um they share, how a, old month. Is, they share a month but i'm saying how old is she she's 15 now he's 14 he looked way younger. For some reason, he looked yeah. way younger than her. She looked, yeah. I mean, I guess because she was dressed up and stuff. She's, all, she's taller. Um, He's just been itty bitty. All, all but days. boys do show different emotions. And, and, to and boys girls do. Um, than girls. I think he was very excited um, to get that much of a reaction. If you know him, to get that much of a reaction, I feel like that was a lot. That was a lot for him because he's very emotion like he so nonchalant real nonchalant so your daughter got she was real emotional it was visible yeah so did she why was she so emotional um i think it's more so because girls kind of they really believe it or not girls really do need their fathers present um i have four kids in total um because some people thought maybe the other little boy was he was, that's that's not his uh, son i have four kids total two with my ex-husband i had a teen pregnancy and i also have uh the last one is 
the baby which is not his um and from what i've paid attention to raising girls because i've always had my father in my life so i never knew how much of an impact it is until i actually had to go through life without having right. fathers around and my daughters they showcase it a lot but it, you know it, what it's, it's a trauma for them um in a that's, way and that's kind of like normal at, though in the in the neighborhoods because a lot of daughters don't really spend a lot of time with their fathers they don't but believe it or not it's more trauma than you actually re actually realize i um, know trust me i um, I, I i know people, trust me personal people, experience people, it's just kind of like people kind of sugarcoat it but you know they want to know who they want that 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 male figure support there um uh, from actual their actual father um both my girls actually showcase showcase that at some point you know not to go into just so much detail unless right. people got questions then yeah i can feel free to answer them but um so let me ask you this so do you have i feel like most all black people got like ptsd from when i say ptsd we all need to see a damn therapist, therapist. yes we do yes we do we because a lot of us, majority of us, grow up in the home without no dad. Mm -hmm. Or if if he is around, he probably on drugs. Mama, it could be vice versa. Yeah. Um. So, when did you notice that it took effect on your daughter? Um. Because you said she fifteen. Um. She a teen, so girls, it's different when it's they get the teens. Things that they say and do, and how they act, and how they respond to boys is what I start paying attention. Um, it's just how they respond, right. the attention that they want. Um, and I could be like, I could say, and like I said, my 15 definitely gets a lot of attention. She's had a lot of love there. I have had a whole community of support raising my children, but, um, I mean, and it do get hard being alone, but I've always had a back, like extra backbones right. in the community to help. But it's just something about that father. It's something about. It's because they instill something different in kids than they, mothers do. Mothers do. more nature's nurturers. Mm -hmm. Fathers are more like, you know, they instill the discipline in so, them. And I've noticed it in, you know, boys. How she and they become rebellious. Home. I mean, Very you right. know, and it's, it's that's OK. So. And I don't want you or nobody takes it the wrong way. I feel like women can't raise men, mm -hmm. or they 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 can raise their child up to you know adults, but you can't raise them into a, a boy into a man because right. a man has all the tools that actually. How I look at it, and I don't mean to cut. Go you ahead, off, but how I look at it. This has never been designed for it to be just a man and just a woman. It has always been designed for the two. It takes the two to raise and kids. It's it's not to me. No, you just, right. You right. You told you right just on the that. man. It's not designed for just the woman. It's it's always to me have been designed for man and woman. And where we kind of lost, you know, connection with that is that relationships don't work out. <sighs> This, this, that, and you know, you get some bitter, bitter women. You get some, you know, definitely fathers, most um, definitely, most and definitely. And then, so society also plays a figure in what the image supposed to be. But I don't think a man should, you know, raise them alone. I don't think a woman should raise them all. I think it's it's really designed for both. So I I came up in uh. My dad was there, but he was in and out due to drugs. Yeah. So that took effect on me and my brother throughout the years. Do mm -hmm. you, did you have your mom and your daddy? I had both parents uh, growing up. So do you feel like do you see the difference with somebody mm -hmm. don't have a dad or I? Because I see a difference in a lot of females who don't have a dad or, or they have a stepdad. They don't have that connection to a man like. I didn't, I, realize, I didn't realize it's supposed to have been such a, it's, it, I didn't understand that it's such a 
effect until having my own and having their you know fathers missing out of their life um that's when i start paying attention as they start becoming teenagers because of course growing them up we give them a whole lot of love they don't require as much as they require as they start hitting the teenagers so i just paid attention to it then have so, you talked to the father um it's been a discussion with the father um and i'm gonna just say for the two the two because i ain't gonna say about the youngest and youngest one is i mean the oldest one i mean father right. is just you know absent absent so he the father of the son and the daughter so the one, same. so the fit the fit, the one is 15 and 14 those two i will say um what can i say those two How did we discuss it? Because we discussed it in the jail. <laughs> you know, it's kind of So crazy. have you talked to him after, since then? We've talked, but he's kind of having, like I so said, you know, of course, the parole and stuff like that. I don't want to discuss that much. Because you got the parole, you got this, you got that. He's not even on the parole. I think he's on like a workforce. Okay, well, we ain't So gotta... he's kind of like, he can't, he's, he's here on like weekends or something, and then he's gone. So I don't want to really go into all of that. But I know, like, based off the phone conversations, um, I did tell him how much it, you know, what was transpiring, um, with my daughter because it's the it's the boys, um, it's just how she responds, period. And I know that it's missing. She says it, um, and to a certain extent, she's happy, like she's happy, and I can see it, the light in her eyes when mm -hmm. discussing her father or talking about her father and how much of uh, giddy she gets um, when it comes to talking about him. So that's how I paid attention to that there's a, you know, that that's there. Right. Um, let's so see. how do your son feel about it? <sighs> Nonchalant like a mug. Um, Cause he's even nonchalant and I don't know if people know that I kind of took on a career that actually sometimes keeps me away from home here and there. And even with me being gone, he's just kind of nonchalant. It's kind of like he, he here, he here. If he ain't, he, she just ain't, you know, he's or more so the streets or I ain't gonna say the streets, but you know, his, his peers is what kind of, Right. It's his main concern. But I feel like even with him more so than the girl is the father definitely uh, needs to get involved. So if you had a message to all the women out there who the father is not in their life, whether it's being incarcerated or being a deadbeat. Do you feel like fathers should be in their life just period because a lot of times women they have these issues with men because it's over something like they didn't work out or child support all of these other things factor in but the most important part is the kids getting a relationship with their dad whether the woman getting get along with him or not i mean so what is your what is your message to her to the women out there to actually if the father is a good father because you have certain situations where it may not be safe or just even with women you know every human is different and every human is get some that's just weirdly crazy mm -hmm. but if the situation is not bad he's 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 trying he's a good you know he's trying He's not on drugs. He's not something that's going to be a negative impact on their life. I say, by all means, try to co-parent as best as possible. You can not get along. You can hate each other. You can hate each other's guts. But long as when it comes to the kids, if y'all can come together to actually really raise these kids together, I feel like it should be definitely. So did so. How did you feel about? the how did you feel about all this like did you feel a certain way about him seeing well his kids I, kinda, so long? I kind of forgave him a long time ago 
far as the the trauma or the the stuff that we went through and he and me have had so many conversations since then and i have seen personally some maturity um but i know some people will would like to say you know that jailhouse talk this that and the other but even beforehand before even getting across right i kind of saw him trying to trying to mature more because we were trying right. to work on the co-parenting right before you know right. and um so he was trying to mature then and he's even more because i'm pretty sure he's been able to he's been doing positive things behind i mean how did that work I, you know right <laughs> but um we have had enough uh, uh, enough conversations and i've explained to him numerous times on just needing the presence needing him there needing that support needing that extra because it's one thing to kind of try to have um father figures people that i know people in the community right come around but they ain't like the father uh, you know but it's it's different when it's the father yeah when it's the father yeah so, this is the conversation we definitely right definitely had okay so now you discussed it is there anything you want to address to the comments that you seen that got <laughs> on you that got to you so for the comments and, and i guess it was more so for people just because i guess i didn't go into detail because i felt like it wasn't no one's business the reason why i said been away i chose that verbiage because i felt like it didn't really matter but i guess it mattered more than it did um he was incarcerated um he's had he's the type of guy that's also has been a nonchalant guy so his son kind of mirrors him a little bit mm -hmm. so in with that reaction you know his baby girl definitely verbalizes more to him than son um he just got to take his son outside of that situation um behind closed doors without the camera in the face that was just a reaction of their first scene you know i went outside took the call he said walking up now hear it a ran in turn my phone on told them you know they started doing a little dancing and and i just popped the recorder so that was a real natural reaction right um and so the people in the comment section you was saying that you know that made you feel away but it, it it made me these feel people don't know it. they it, don't it, it know you know feel away when you get some people that kind of the ones and it was more so the ones that it was supposed to be meant for positive but you took some people and you you had some people come in and oh six you know six years oh wow or you had comments like um i'm trying to remember everyone but they didn't know the con they didn't they, know the but, context but they, they of what's know, going on they didn't know the con they did not but um, so some I people, feel like some, that shouldn't bother I, it you. It was more so the people who thought about it being weird. Uh, they like something doesn't seem right here. I had comments like that, and I'm trying to really figure out what that made because that where they left it. Like something didn't seem right. What I mean, I'm we wondering what are you trying to insinuate um, based off of? Do you feel like you, you didn't the title? What did you title it? Because I just said the you know the kids. Um, I surprised my kids with seeing their father after six years of six being years. away. I know it was something like that. I yeah. was kind of like I didn't understand what was going on either. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, how did all these people? People just they it, made it that video more, go was, viral. It was more so the negative ones that I was just kind of like, what, what, what is it that you see in the video that doesn't seem right? This weird, this, and I got a lot of those comments too that it was weird. It was, it didn't seem right. Um, it was kind of like people was insinuating something that you know. Then of course I had people insinuating that oh he just came to see the mama, you know all that type of stuff, and then it's just kind of like. <laughs> Uh, how did you get that out of the video? <laughs> how did you get that? That's why I was, I was telling you. I was never even in the video. You he can't. never even looked my way in the video. But that's Outside why I was telling video. you stop. You can't let people <laughs> in the comment section get to. It they not. How though? I don't. That don't, don't make sense. Wonder. They're getting to you this stuff that don't even make sense. Yeah. Like I don't even know what was going on, and I know you, so I'm like I don't. Man, I, I mean I. Kind of, I didn't know the situation. I didn't even know that was, I'm like, mm, I was kind of puzzled. Like, I don't even know what to make of the video. Right. Just her seeing her dad, I didn't know what was going on. So. Yeah, and, and of course, like I say, I, I knew the ones who thought maybe it was two boys and it wasn't. It was just 
the two kids that gave the hug. Yes, the son hug kind of, but that's him. That's his personality. And the daddy's kind of the same way. Baby girl's going to act like the baby girl. She she wants the attention all the time. Um, she's very emotional. So she's going, you know, prior to, they have had plenty of conversations over the phone. Um, you know, she's more verbal than, you know, the nonchalant son. Right. But they felt like, he just didn't care for him as if, you know, and that may be more of a question that they should ask him more so me um, of his feeling when he. But I'm like, again, he's always sometimes you have a man that's macho. They they they, <laughs> they don't want to be out. <laughs> I feel like you shouldn't let the comment section bother you. It's not bothering, but I did was like, oh. That was okay, only a few hundred wanna, thousand people. What if 10 million people got the, on their comment? I, you can't I, I, let them, I wouldn't be worried about it. I really I think be. more so, you, I feel like more so you feel some type of way because it was your personal life. Yes, yeah. And when people got their own views Opinions of what's going on, you life. like, huh? And then it was already an emotional situation. It was, it was, it was. So, I don't know. Social media is just weird. It is, but I mean, everybody also is entitled. And then when you post things, definitely, yeah, it's you're public. Gonna, you're you're making gonna, it public. You're making it public, and it is personal. It was just the some of the weird comments that just what? How do you make a this situation be weird, funny, or not right? Like, what is it that you see about it that's not? Is my question. You also got to look at how you respond to stuff. Oh, and I, and I didn't respond. I mean, how I you respond. you got to look at how you view videos. Yeah. Because I be forgetting, like, I see a video and I have my own opinion of it. And it may not idea. even be that. Yeah, that's true. So. Now, when it comes to certain questions and certain things, I did answer because I, I feel like they were legit. But it was the ones that really kind of. Is when you're you're insinuating something outside of what's going on in the video because how something is not correct, something's not right, something's not. What are you insinuating? <laughs> and I got right. a few of those. A lot of times, you know what's going on with social media. A lot of times, a lot of these videos like that be staged. Yeah, and this is and this it's crazy. Is, it gets so many views. I'll be like, and it's, and this this was actually not a stage. It was it was staged no. between me and the father, right, to right. surprise them, um, because even he got out actually two days prior mm. to that video. Okay. He wanted to see them two days when he first got out, but we planned it like I knew the week that he was the like we knew for I knew for a week the date he was getting out. And we discussed over the phone. I said, no. Nah. And even because, like I said, it was my the uh, oldest, the 15-year-old's birthday. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, no, nah, let's just go ahead. I put a dinner together. Her friends actually uh, came. And they were there. They actually came a little bit, maybe a little bit after some of them started making it in. As he was kind of coming in as well. But um, it was just kind of staged. It was staged to be a birthday dinner. They So they had no idea. They thought it was just... A celebration moment for that and i call it irish twins because they do share a month that they're about the same age in, in a month you know and which if you know the definition to irish twins you know what that is and i, I know don't even know what irish twins <laughs> is irish, they, 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 they should they are they they are he turns 14 uh september the 5th and she turns uh 15 september the 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 the, 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 the next month yeah during the next month so they have a month. I ain't never heard. Same. I don't even know what that's called. Irish twins is what they call it. Mm, okay. <laughs> so and so some people be like, oh, so y'all didn't even wait till yes, yeah, I did. I thought I waited six months, but it must be six weeks. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, but we it was a back to back pregnancy basically is what it was. So okay, that's what that was. So do you have anything else you want to say about this video? About this topic, I don't because you so. you wanted to. You got I, a little I did want. I did want to address it because I kind of wanted to know what people, what did they get from the, that. So, yeah. Okay. Well, and that I wanted is to address all. It. <laughs> all right. That's it. That's it. I think all right. That is all for this episode. Y'all go in the comment section. Hit up on her TikTok. What's your TikTok? Um, well, if y'all watching this TikTok, but this going on. 
Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, three, four, five platforms. Instagram. But the video is on TikTok. TikTok. Yes. But it's under Salon. Okay. Underscore Salon underscore. That's it. All right. That's all we got for today. We'll holler at y'all in the next episode. I'm out. Ciao.